ZE500 DPI conversion. Turn off the print engine and remove the power cord and data cables. Use an anti-static wrist strap and mat. Open the media door. Loosen the print head mounting screw. Open the print head. Disconnect the power connector and print head data connector. Remove the print head. Reconnect the new print head to the print head power cable and data cable. Partially lower the print head. Line up the posts with the alignment holes and seat the print head. Carefully lower the print head the rest of the way. Tighten the print head mounting screw. Close the print head. Clean the print head with either a cleaning pen or a cotton swab moistened in a solution of nine parts isopropyl alcohol and one part deionized water. Close the print head. Next, we will remove the rollers. Open the upper pinch roller assembly by pressing on the release button above the cam plate. Loosen the captive screw. Pull the cam plate off the two support pins. Pull the pinch roller forward and lift it out. Loosen the captive screw on the peel roller. Remove the cam plate with the deflector plate attached. Open the peel roller bracket latch. Pull the roller forward and lift it out. Open the print head. Loosen the retaining screw. Rotate the latch pin to the open position. Tighten the screw. Pull the platen roller towards the support plate and lift it out. Remove the four mounting screws on the electronics cover. Pull the electronics cover off the printer. Press the latch to open the electronics enclosure. Disconnect the drive system cable connector. Loosen the three captive mounting screws. Remove the quick change modular drive system. Loosen the three mounting screws to remove the drive system cover. Lift off the cover. Next, we'll remove the belts. Remove the mounting screw and washer in the stepper motor belt tensioner bracket. Slide the bracket assembly off. Remove the stepper motor belt. Loosen the mounting screw on the locking tension idler. While you push the locking tensioner idler toward the platen pulley, tighten the mounting screw on the idler. Compress and swing the dynamic tensioner up and out of its home position. Push up on the dynamic tensioner latch to disengage the mounting plate. Swing the idler bracket to release the platen belt. Remove the platen belt from all the pulleys and idlers. Remove the E-ring from the compound pulley shaft. Slide off the compound pulley. Slide on the new compound pulley. Reinstall the E-ring. Replace the platen belt on the compound pulley. Thread the platen belt around all of the pulleys and idlers. Swing the dynamic tensioner down as you compress the spring until the end is resting on the latch. Loosen the mounting screw on the locking tension idler. Then tighten the mounting screw. Replace the stepper motor belt on the compound pulley and the stepper motor pulley. Align the stepper motor belt tensioner bracket assembly on the compound pulley shaft. Replace the mounting screw and washer for the stepper motor belt tensioner bracket and tighten the screw. Turn the stepper motor pulley several times to confirm that all belts are seated and threaded correctly. Replace the drive system cover. Tighten the three mounting screws. Align the new drive system with the mounts and tighten the three screws.
reconnect the cable connectors. Close the electronics enclosure. Replace the electronics cover. Reinstall the four mounting screws. Reinstall all three rollers. Position the pinch roller and press until you hear it click. Replace the cam plate. Tighten the screw. Close the pinch roller assembly. Position the peel roller and press until you hear it click. Insert the tab into the mainframe slot. Replace the cam plate on the support pins. Tighten the center screw. Close the bracket. Position the platen roller and press until you hear it click. Loosen the retaining screw and rotate to a closed position. Tighten the screw. Close the printhead. Close the media door. 